Hello everyone. Today we're here to show you guys how to replace and disassemble your HP laptop. For this particular model, it's an HP 240G5. So they know it as a G5 laptop. And I'm gonna show it up and show you guys why you should not actually get one of these and why are the worst built quality. Some people buy this to play light games or I don't know some kind of graphical use. And you should not do this. It's a waste of money. I don't know why HP does this, but all right. First thing first, you want to remove the battery. So unclip it, and there you go. Second thing, remove all the screws on the bottom side and including the two screws that are right under the battery. Right, once we remove those and the keyboard won't come out from this side because it's integrated keyboard from the other side so we're gonna open the screen I recommend you guys to grab a guitar pick and by using a guitar pick put it right in between the two plastics on the sides just go slowly around and lift it up. Be gentle. There you go. Don't yank the top part as soon as it starts loosening up. Oh, I think there is gonna be screws under this plastic cover for the hinges. You don't need to remove it. There are two of them. Continue opening. Once you left the front side, slowly move this side too. I have the camera right in front of me, so it's not making it easy for me. All right, now once you loosen up the only one side where the to your right side, yeah, you loosen up this side, and you're gonna slowly close it down. Don't push too hard. Right where you have the one USB side, not the heatsink side. You want to grab this side there where the one USB is and you're going to lift up it slowly, put your hand inside and then push the cover towards the VGA side slowly and then lift it up. So that way you don't damage your VGA side. And that's your bottom cover. That's your hard drive right there. Now, this is the funny part of this laptop. Right here first you got your hard drive, right there you got your RAM and the RAM is not expandable because they did not install the secondary slot for the RAM and there's your CPU and this is supposed to be your heat sink, there's no heat pipes and there is no fan right underneath where there's supposed to be a fan so there, there's no way that there's going to be airflow to cool down the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the heatsink so you guys can see. By removing heatsink, there's only four screws. And also, 
loosen up the cables on the heatsink. There is an extra screw right there, right at the end of the heatsink. Remove that. Now you can go ahead and lift up the heatsink. And there you go. That's where the fan's supposed to be. And there's supposed to be a, what do you call, a fan right there. Intaking from the back of the keyboard. And blowing right through the heat pipes. The heat sink, I mean. So, so on, on these versions, they try to save up on fan and they calculate the lifespan of the laptop. That's why they give you a better price. So within a year or less than a year or, or maybe a year and a half, you end up buying a new one. And this is not a copper, it's an aluminum. Aluminum absorbs the heat less than a copper does. There's your CPU, the whole thermal paste. <coughs> All right. So what are we gonna do right now? We're gonna put this to a side, and just for your hard drive, you can just lift up the hard drive. There's no screws, and. You can just unhook it from here and that comes off. The hard drive, it's, it's a good hard drive, at least they put a good brand hard drive, HGST. They're one of the good brands. All right, next, you wanna unhook the, what do you call, the power jack cable. Unhook the on off switch right in the corner. And unhook the cable. This is the Wi Fi cable. And this is the LCD screen cable right there. Pretty long, I never seen such a long LCD cable in a laptop. I have no idea why the entry is down there. And you do the most important one, unhook the keyboard on the side. The speakers. And the mouse button right there. The extra USB port to the right. They could actually put two USB ports, but they only installed one. There's a space to install the second one. So pretty much they cut down a lot in this system. Alright, next you want to unscrew the two screws on top and one in the by the CD one and two on this side. Now you can go ahead and lift up the motherboard. No, there is an extra screw right hiding right under this paper by the Wi-Fi. Lift up the motherboard and that's your motherboard right there. Now you can replace your motherboard if you want to. You can take your Wi-Fi board by one screw only. And if your laptop is not holding the date and time, you can replace your battery. That's for the BIOS battery. I doubt that you've been replacing this. You'll be replacing the whole laptop by that time before this runs out because of the heat problem. So there's not much you can do about the heat problem because there is no fan. So you do have to turn off and turn back on the laptop every few hours to cool down the 
plate. Well, there's not much down here. There's a speakers and there's two mouse button click and one screw for the extra USB port, which you can replace. And your power jack is right there to be replaced. Right there. All right, let's go back and put the motherboard back on and repaste this laptop. Also, it doesn't matter what kind of thermal paste you use, the really the best top end or liquid metal or Arctic Silver 5, they all end up being the same thing. So after a few hours, the heat, there is no way they can just go away. So it just accumulates inside the heat sink and goes back to the CPU. So it doesn't matter what you use because of there is no fan. It's not a good heat sink, so you end up with the same result in a short period of time. Connect the keyboard, connect the extra USB, connect the mouse button, the speakers, put back down the screw by the Wi Fi, the two screws on the left side by the Ethernet cable. And the two one right on top. By the battery very close. And one right by the DVD roll. Alright, now we're gonna grab an alcohol and a work paper towel. Spray some and clean up the CPU. You only need to clean the crystal on top of the CPU. But I just clean the whole damn thing. And also clean up the heat sink. Okay. Now that we clean that one up, you're gonna grab your thermal paste. I could be using Artifix, Arctic Silver 5, but I'm going to use MX4 because the results are going to be the same in a short period of time. So, there we go. So, put the heat sink back on. Put the screws for the heat sink. At least they could have used the copper heat sink, but as copper is expensive, aluminium is cheap. This is what they did. So you put the four screws down there and one screw right on top, remember? All right, run the cables nicely between the heat sink. And uh, connect the power jack cable to the motherboard. Run the cable for the screen. Put it around. And put the LCD cable in. Connect to your Wi Fi antenna. If you have only one, connect it to number one. Also, make sure that your cabling they are not over the holes where the screw is supposed to go in. Otherwise, you're going to pierce right through the cables, and that's a bad thing. That's a no no. I grab your hard drive, plug it in, slide in the cable. Lock it, put it down, nice and tight. Oh, and this laptop doesn't have a C I just realized that there is no CD-ROM here. So there's an entry for the CD-ROM. 
but it's empty and they did not even put the cover in so you can actually go ahead and install your, your own they just put one whole thing it's one piece bottom so sometimes they actually let you remove this so you can actually buy your own cd run like this and plug it in so the space is there but god damn it they don't give you the space to remove the plastic on top unless you want to cut the whole thing here so and this is another cd run from another laptop so this one there's a space there's a connector for it but on the outside plastic there's no removable cover all right so we're gonna go ahead and put the top cover back in make sure we're not hold, covering anything always put the io side in first so. Kind of tricky to put it in, but all right. Once you put that side in, just push the rest with your hand, and that's it. Before you put any screws in, make sure your laptop is working. I don't have my charger, so I'm going to plug in the battery. Let me see. There we go. And let's turn it on. Make sure it, it turns on. I got light, so I see the logo. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Just hold it five seconds. And it turns off. Don't do this a lot as you can go ahead and damage your hard drive. Once or twice is okay. Alright, now we're gonna put the two screws right by the hinge. And the last two to the right one. Right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put all the rest of the screws on the bottom side. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up. And if it helped you guys, think about subscribing. And if you have any question, any request, subscribe and I will answer as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys. I'm just gonna finish screwing this whole thing. Thank you.